All right. What's happening around the D? Movie stars, music stars, freight cars, it's all happening around town this weekend. Our boy Rich Rice is back in the building, the founder of event planning company Detroit by Design. Hey! Good morning, how's it Good going? Good morning. You're looking very healthy and tan. Yeah, yeah. just flew back in the country. I did a little bit of the snowbird thing, but overshot Florida and somehow ended up in the jungle of Columbia. I so. love it. I love wow. it. I Thank thought you went yeah. to Saugatuck. <laughs> <laughs> I do like Saugatuck, but family's got a lake house out that way. So where we going, Rich? Let me know. Uh, we'll go this summer. We'll oh, pack up all the said. gals. And yes. I'll go to her. She's got a free ticket to Hawaii. And she They've got volcanoes there now. I'm cool. I'm hanging out with Rich. Volcanoes Drag are up. cool. Yes. He knows all my girlfriends. We're going to pack up the crew. Yeah. And let's go. All right. Well, let's get Sounds into good. what's happening around the D this weekend. Yeah. Well, out, out in your neighborhood, Jason, Motor City Comic Con's coming to uh, right. s suburban show place to your, you, you got two daughters, right? One no, daughter. One daughter. One daughter. Okay. Is she into the comic book culture thing Not at all? Not quite yet. Does she read the manga books? She's is into that... Roblox right now. Whatever Roblox is like an online. Like, <laughs> no idea. Maze what that is. Or, yeah, exactly. So is it kind of like a never-ending story. Now I want to know. It's nothing like what we're looking at on okay. the screen. Okay. <laughs> it's like let's focus. Let's focus. So several stars from TV and movies will be in attendance. Fifty thousand people come out for this. This is a uh, really exciting look at everyone dresses up. It's kind of a, a real fun weekend. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, um, all kinds of different television stars and, and comic book. Uh, community writers and and people involved in, in that genre. Uh, Val Kilmer is kind of the one big star that I grew up on, you know, yeah. watching his movies. Um, autographs and you can get autographs and photos with the with the stars here, and all the local comic book stores are there. So if, if you're into this culture or you just uh, are interested in meeting some television stars, yeah. when we were kids, nerd to. culture was something that you hid. You would not be necessarily uh, proud of it. But then Revenge of the Nerds came out, and then that was culture, the nerd breakthrough. Geek culture took <laughs> off, and now geeks <laughs> rule the universe. And that's like, that's a party. They would rather be at that than an actual party yeah. party. There you go. And it also, Jenna Elfman, Lu Lucy Lawless. I would go to see Lucy Lawless. Oh, she's Xena, Warrior Princess. You're in a right? Warrior Princess. Isn't That's it? fantastic. Okay, I, just I love that. To make sure that wasn't just me that yeah. liked her. So there's also a fun event happening at the Detroit School of Arts that I'm checking out as well. What's this one, Rich Rice? Yeah, Karen Chappelle. If yes. you matter, so actually talking about all your all yeah. your lady friends. Yes. <laughs> um, they're all think are kind of involved in this. Gracie was telling me how cool. Uh, how much she looks up to this woman. Yes. She uh, was a lawyer in LA for 40 years. She came back here and she started out this, is, this festival. It's her inaugural festival, uh, Detroit Heritage Theater Festival. So she's brought together all of these kind of community theater groups to produce this event this weekend. On Saturday, they have 10 minute uh, theater productions that you can check out at the School of the Arts. Um, I brought in one of my friends, Justin Alesna, who danced with Misty Copeland with the uh, American Ballet Theater. He's going to be teaching a free class and showing how dance connects with theater. The whole program is all free. And then on Sunday, they move it over to Kalisha's Museum yes. at the uh, Detroit Historical Museum. And they're going to be doing uh, a reading with uh, Dominique uh, Marisot's Detroit 67. So all kinds of great things happening here. You can find out all the information at uh, CasablancaDetroit.com. Very exciting, I can't wait. A uh, music legend in his or her right is coming back to Detroit for a rockin' concert, songwriter Allie Willis. Yes! Yeah, she's a, she's a huge star with uh, with songwriters. She's originally, she went to Mumford High School here in, in Northwest Detroit, and she came back in 2008 um, because the uh, the play that she scored, The Color Purple, mm -hmm. um, was uh, being produced by all these local schools. So she came back in town with that. She's good friends with Terry Guyton. And she decided to make a song not um, uh, about Detroit, but with Detroit. So she had 5,000 singers that all came together um, to produce this song uh, uh, called The D. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So she's going to be doing kind of a sing-alongs and all these different mixed media art forms that she does behind Hockey Town uh, Cafe this weekend um, in the City Theater. Cool. Friday and Saturday, 45 bucks. This should be a really good time. Yeah, she's walking brilliant. So the concert will feature hit songs that she has written, including September by Earth, Wind & Fire. Exactly. Allie Willis loves Detroit is at 8 p.m. Both days tickets $45. Rich, would you do me a favor and prop your foot up on the glass uh -oh, so we here can we go. those socks? I think I've wore these this point for you before. There we can go. You see my, here we go. Hold on. My up. eyeball Hold socks. Up. Hold on up. We you know, I used to work up. in eyeballs years ago. We used to photograph Whoa, eyeballs for a living. Oh, oh, did we oh, get where it? are we at here? Sock cam. Do a little, my little tap dance. Sock cam. Sock my cam. eyeball socks. 
I'm going to get you socks. some of those, Jason. I feel like you need some well, eyeball socks. They kind of uh, go with your tie, I think. Yeah, yeah some same saying. colors. Do you want to borrow matching. them? You let, let me know, Jason. Hold it still. Uh -oh. Hold it still. Let's get it. Let's get a can let's sock shot. Let's see the sock. <laughs> Hold still. Oh, now we oh, see the bottom of your shoe. Okay. All right, I apologize, All right. The director. We got to work on the sock cam. There we go. There you go. D Nice has it. Rich is an apple of the city of Detroit. There's a cool event happening. Yeah, thank you. There's a cool event happening along the De Quinder Cut this weekend involving freight cars. Yeah, if you haven't been to the De Quinder Cut yet, it's really kind of one of the treasures of, of projects that the uh, urban planners have done in the city. It used to be kind of a really scary subgrade yeah. uh, train line, and it was it was kind of a clubhouse for all the local graffiti artists. So the Detroit Riverfront Conservancy came in. They said, "Let's kind of celebrate this artwork that you do, but create a green belt along with it." And it's this kind of wonderful contrast between kind of the urban graffiti art and a really nice green belt in the city. They just added another piece to it that they're calling the freight yard where they took nine shipping containers and they created a structure with it. Uh, my good friend Godwin is one of my uh, favorite food trucks in Detroit, Yum Village, is going to be curating all the vendors for this. Art, music, activities all weekend. It's kind of the big kickoff for this new portion of the DeQuinter Cut. Saturday at 11 a.m. Thank you so much, Rich. You can always check out what's happening around the D by going to the live guide and click on Detroit.com slash live guide.